Hi, Jeff Simon here again for Social Flight. I received some requests for more detailed information here on misbehaving the Titan T51D Mustang that's here at Sun and Fun 2021. So I wanted to give you a little bit more of a tour. It's getting a little late, so the light's a little bit low, but we'll do what we can, and I'll show you a few more interesting things, especially things that some people have been asking about. So let me turn the camera around here and we'll take a look at it. Now, uh, Misbehaven, as we mentioned in our last video, uses a Honda engine. If we uh, take a little bit of a tour down here, one of the first things that uh, I wanted to bring uh, attention to is what is this under the wing? Well, this is the hardware for the drop tanks. That's right, you can actually add teardrop shank shaped drop tanks on your Titan T51D Mustang. The way that works is it gets attached on here. They do not uh, actively drop in flight, thankfully. At least I'm hoping no one set them up that way. And um, basically these different parts here will stabilize. They get adjusted to stabilize the tank when that gets clicked into place. And then it all goes in through a feed attachment. And then I'll show you inside the cockpit. That's where actually the uh, pump is to actually take fuel out of that and pump it into the main tanks. Now a quick uh, look here at our gear. This is the landing gear of the Titan T51 Mustang. Very, very cool. Titan has uh, both the standard and optional gear. The optional three and a half inch gear is what these are, um, three inch I believe. And uh, it goes up in here. You can actually see a little bit of the mechanism that goes uh, up into the uh, uh, in, into the wheel well area. Um, very, very cool. Let's you see how that works. And then of course, down here, that iconic scoop that makes a Mustang look like a Mustang. It's pretty dark in there right now, but you can see that actually is where the radiator is in the Mustang. So we come back from there. There's your other uh, landing gear. These do not have inner gear doors, just outer gear doors on it. And then we'll back up and take a little bit more of a tour around. Now there's a variety of options when it comes to the uh, fuel tanks on these planes. Let me turn this around. So that the way that the fuel works on a Titan Mustang is you have, first of all, a small header tank. That's what everything feeds into and the engine feeds out of the header tank. You then have a left and a right main tank. Those are all in the center section right here. And if you look, you see right here this uh, fuel filler. This is for the left tank. There's some, uh, an equal one on the, on the right side. Those two tanks feed into that header tank and then feed into the engine itself. Now, outside of that, you have other options. In our build, we've got a fuselage tank. It's 13 gallons that we're going to do a, a positive fill on where we flip a switch and it will refill those left and right main tanks. In addition to that, you can opt for wing tanks. There's a couple different kinds of wing tanks that go in there. We're gonna show you ours. We're using uh, these uh, tubular ones from Titan that hold three gallons each in the left and the right. And that's actually similar to what's uh, being used on this aircraft. And you can see as you go out here, there is another, t another filler. So let's go over, uh, take a look at uh, the Mustang over in this area. And lastly, this is very close to the area where our fuselage tank is, but in this, it's smoke. This is where they've put their actual smoke tank, which is super, super cool. They can probably hear in the background here, this is, uh, sounds like Team Aeroshell flying overhead. Not sure if I can get them on camera. Very, very cool. All right, so back to the Mustang. Walking around the tail area here, as we come down, you can zoom in and that area there is the air scoop. So in this case, we're on the ground. The uh, scoop is in, uh, in uh, a semi-open position. And then behind it, you have the tailwheel doors. You saw us build those on our Titan Mustang. So obviously the tailwheel retracts, you get, and then you can adjust that exit door as needed 
for cooling of the aircraft. We've got our rudder. We have both electrically uh, adjusted uh, rudder trim as well as elevator trim. And the elevator trim right over down here, that's how that is handled. And now comes the fun part again, climbing up and opening into the Mustang. So let's take a look up here. And we'll go and climb up on board. Now, to open the Mustang, you have a crank on the inside, but you also have this red button here. So I'm gonna go and push that red button and slide open the canopy. Let's take a look at that and see how we can make that work. Okay, canopy opened. And now we'll give a little bit more of a tour on the inside. We sat in here before, but we didn't do too much of a tour of what's actually gone. And someone need to figure out how we turn off their GPS. There we go. So, Misbehaven here has a combination of, uh, uh, of uh, analog instruments as well as digital instruments. And so, which is something I really like. I like having a kind of a combination of that. Um, and uh, the most important thing, of course, here on the left, this is your throttle, forward and aft. This is your prop control right underneath it. So throttle and prop control underneath that. Now, um, this is your gear control. Let me uh, bring down so you can see that. This is the gear control. Bring this up. This is how the gear actually works. And then down below it, the way that they've done it, pretty hard to see in the dark here, uh, actually is the uh, button that actually, uh, the lever, which actually controls that. So last thing we showed last time, the crank. This is how we crank everything closed and a very, very cool uh, uh, stick here where you can actually do everything that you need to. So cool stuff, good look here, and of course, the cool look going outside and the view outside of your T51D Mustang. So I hope that helps everybody with a little bit more of a, uh, of a view and a little bit more of uh, how it, uh, it is and uh, answer a few more questions on the Titan T51D Mustang. Until next time from Sun of Fun 2021, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.